All right, what I want to do is show you how to get test gen for my math lab to create a quiz and upload it to Canvas. So go to test gen, my math lab, test gen, test bank, and test generator, Pearson. Click that and go to test gen materials, download those. Go to downloads right here. And then click this thing. It says test gen desktop application. And then pick what you have, PC or Mac. I have a PC, so then this will start downloading. Click that. Click yes. Trust that device. And then just download it. Create a folder, typical, and so forth. I already have test gen, so I'm not going to do that. So when you get test gen, the icon will look like this. Open that up. It's 7.6.5 right now as of March 28th, 2020. Yours will be completely blank when you open it up. You, it won't say Pearson test gen because I've already downloaded something. I've, download, I've downloaded these two things here. Let's delete these. So now I have nothing. I guess I still have that. So I'm not sure if you'll have that. I think it'll be completely blank for you. So anyways, now I have no test banks. Let me show you how to get a test bank. So go to test bank, my math app, and then click same site at Pearson. And then go to either the subject catalog. If you want to find it, you don't know the author. If you know the author, just go to Lehman, for instance, is one of that I'm looking for because I teach math 50. So I'm going to get the statistics introductory, like pre statistics. So then go to download instructor resources right here. And then this one says resource manual. We don't want that. Instructors resource manual. We don't want that. Solutions manual. Instructor solution manual. Okay. Test gen computerized test bank. That's what we want for a PC. I'm going to sign in. It might ask you to sign in, accept, and proceed. Get that zip file. You'll see something like this. Just double click it. See, double click it again. So I think it already downloaded it So because I, I clicked it twice. It should do something else when you do it, but I've already done it once. But, anyways, it'll look like that when you get it. So click the plus sign, and this has all of the test banks. So for instance, simplifying expressions. Let's see, let's just click this one. So look, let's click some of these. This one I want. Uh, let's get this one. Click, press control when you select them, and you can select multiple of them. Like that, press, first I have to get web test. If I'm getting preparing it for Canvas, click web CTE, this one, click that one. Okay, now it'll allow, now I have to reselect these and then now I can say add selected images. So let's see, let me scroll up and then I'm gonna close this, let's see. Solve some equations. Get some questions here. Like these. Okay. Those are good. Let me add those in. Let me close this. Um, throw a percentage question in. For good measure. Add those in. Good. Now look at all these questions. They're all multiple choice. Just select them. Click this button right here. Boom. Another short answer. They have to fill in the answer. And then the, in fact on this one, they're going to have to input an expression for their answer. So I kind of like those for pretty much press control and select these. And I'll turn all those into where they have to solve or put, the, put an expression. This one is multiple choice. I'll leave, you can leave some multiple choice questions. So anyways, let me export that. Go to file export. Let's uh, let's click click. This is important. QTI. You see that right here? QTI. So click that. Okay. 
I created a folder in Math 50. So I'm going to call this new zip file. Let's call it. Let's call it Solvent Sim in caps. Press save. And let me just close this now. Yeah, so let me now go to Canvas and show you what to do next. So go to Canvas to import the test. So I'm going to go to my sandbox. So go to whatever class you want to import it in and go down to settings. Click settings. Import course content right here. I'm gonna click that. Okay, so now. I'm going to go to QTI right here. That's what we need for our test. Then I'm going to choose a file. I'm going to go to Solve and Simp. There it is. I'm choosing a zip file. Import. Take a minute, probably 30 seconds. It's running. Complete it. Go to Quizzes now, right here, to make your quiz. Now, quizzes, it's important to go to quizzes if you want to use Proctorio. That's why we're doing all this. Otherwise, you should just import it into an assignment and have your students do it on assignments. But if you want to use Proctorio, you have to import it into quizzes. So you have to create a quiz and go to questions. Actually, let's call this Solve and Simp. <laughs> solve and Simp. Go to questions. Find questions and get solve and simp. Select all. So I just collect, pick solve and simp, and then select all. Scroll down, press add questions. There they are. And that's it. So, no, that's not it. I want to show you something. This is not good. See? This is not a good format. I'm going to show you how to fix that. So I want you to click this pencil. And then select the select it, and then click the equation editor. And then if it messes up like that, just put a space somewhere and it'll fix it. See, one little space, and that's what you want. Insert. You may want to put multiple correct answers. Add add another answer. So for instance, this has a a space. There's a lot of spaces here. So we know that this is the answer, but what if students input it differently? So press Control C. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put it like this. Sometimes people will answer the question with no spaces, so they'll go like this, right? So you can put different possible answers, so you have like less grade fixing at the end, right? So some people. Input it like that. So update the question. And look at that. Looks way better than this one. See? So go back and edit it. Show you that again. Go to select it. Click this equation. And it will automatically do that for you. It'll convert it. Get rid of this one. So 4B plus 4, so I'm going to grab that, add another answer, and put 4B plus 4, because students might not put spaces. So you want it to be correct. So update that. Grab this. Select that. I would actually just, just select it and then hit the equation. And there you go. Kind of makes it way better looking for you. So the answer is like that. Once again, you can add another answer. You can add multiple answers so that there's a lot of possible correct answers depending on the formatting and how they put it in. So let's press update question. And so let's see. Um, on this question, we know the answer is 4B plus 4. So let's try something. Let's save. Preview that. Oh, that one's a multiple choice. Okay, here we go. 7B minus, so this is 4B plus 4. So if I put 4B plus and then a space 4, let's see what it does with that. Submit quiz. 
So look, it marks me wrong. Because I have this. I didn't include that as a possible answer. So that's a little bit annoying. You can go back and just give them the credit later. Or you can input all the possible answers. So you can go. You can mess with it. You can go edit. Go to the question. And then put all possible answers. Or you can say. Something like an in instructions if the answer is for x plus 4. Don't write 5x plus 4 like that. You can kind of like say that in the instructions or you can just add other answers. 4b space, uh, plus space 4. Or B space plus four stuff like that. Yeah, so you have some editing issues there that make it a little bit hard to grade when you when you have them enter in. So you may have to go in and grade it yourself. But I want to show you about Proctorio. So to enable Proctorio, go here. Click that, enable factorial, and then go up. You're gonna have to give it a time limit. Let's say 60. I like shuffle the answers too. And uh, that's it. Now, if you save that, publish it. Now, if I view as a student, what will it say? Let's go to quizzes, solve and simp, take the quiz. Now I want to show you something. Proctorio doesn't work unless <laughs> you have to do this every time you take it. You go to more tools, extensions, turn it off and turn it on. And look, it just takes me straight to the quiz. And now I can take it. It works. So fixing Proctorio. Now we do this. Click that button to take the test. It checks your webcam and checks your internet connection. And then just click next to take the test. This is what your students will do. And look, so if I put 7B or 4B, if I put two spaces, I'll probably mark it wrong. So anyway. Picking the test when you click submit quiz. See, marks it wrong. There's some little issues with that. Um, yeah, well, that's it.